Hi DIYers, Joe here from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how to properly test your PowerG smoke detector. So the first thing that we're going to do today is we're going to program this wireless PowerG smoke to our Qualsys IQ2, and then we're going to use some canned smoke to test the detector. Now as you may know, many smoke detectors have a button on them where you can press it to set off an alarm. This isn't actually testing all of the guts though of the smoke detector. It's just doing a test to make sure the detector can function as in it can send an alarm signal to your panel. To really test the functionality of your smoke detector, you're gonna to wanna to get some canned smoke. You can easily get this online or a piece of cotton, light it on fire, and then that smoke will be able to actually trigger the unit. The reason that you wanna do this is you want to make sure that your smoke detectors actually work if there is smoke in the environment. Doing this a few times during the year, it's a good idea to set up a, a little schedule for yourself to check uh, and test them. All smoke detectors usually have their own recommended requirements as to when is the best time to test them. And <clears throat> it's just a really good thing to do to make sure all your equipment is up and running. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna enroll this device to our uh, IQ2 system. So we're gonna first jump into sensor programming. So I'm gonna slide down from the top do settings, advanced settings, 2222, installation, devices, security sensors, and then auto learn sensor. Now on our smoke detector, I have to press down the enrollment button until we get a solid LED and then let go. And then we should see it uh, join to the system. So let me remove the back plate. It's gonna make some noise. I'm going to pop the battery in and out just to silence it. So I'm going to take my screwdriver and I'm going to press this enrollment button until I get a solid LED and then let go. So we have the LED and there it is. That is the smoke detector communicating with the system. We're learning it in. I'm going to click OK. So you can see sensor type is smoke detector, sensor group is smoke and heat. That's good enough for us. So I'm gonna click add new. Sensor has been added, we're good to go. I'm gonna take the back plate and clip it back on our device. And then on our system, I'm gonna go all the way back to the home screen. Now, before you do test your smoke detector, if you do have a monitored system, make sure that you call your security company or use whatever app you have to put the system on test. Smoke detectors, if you test them and that signal gets to the central station and you have a false alarm and the fire department shows up, they're not gonna to be too happy and there's likely gonna be a fine. So just to reiterate that point, please put your system on test before testing the smoke detector. So now we're ready to test the smoke detector. I have my can smoke right here. And on this particular smoke detector, the detection chamber is that meshed grill that's on the inside. So when it's on the ceiling, it may be a little difficult. A lot of these canned smoke products though, they have a little tube that will stick out and allow you to fish it into whatever uh, place you need to put it. So let's give it a shot. This will trigger the system in an unarmed mode as it is a smoke detector. And it should trigger shortly after blowing smoke into the detection chamber. So I go right here. There we go. So we got it to trigger and we're good to go. Now, sometimes when you use canned smoke on a smoke detector, I'm gonna silence this just to keep it quiet. And that just proved my point. Sometimes when you put smoke into a smoke detector, it's gonna remain in the chamber until it totally clears out. You'll keep getting alarms on your smoke if that happens. So after using canned smoke to check a detector, it's a good idea to take it down, wave it out, and just let it sit for a bit to let all that come out before putting it back up to prevent any false alarms or annoying alarms while you're doing this test. 
That's how you do test a smoke detector, a Power G one. If you have any questions about this process, feel free to give us a call, 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmbird.com or head to our website, www.alarmbird.com. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. If you want to be updated when we post future videos, hit the notification button. We'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.